So, what's your help? What do you mean? When you were asleep just now, you said, I won't help you. What were you dreaming about? There's this voice I keep hearing in my dreams. It's evil and old. I can just feel it. That doesn't sound like Hades. He usually appears on a black throne. He offered my mother in trade. Who else could do that? I guess if he meant help me rise up from the underworld to destroy the Olympians, but... That doesn't make any sense. Why ask you to bring him the Master Bolt if he already has it? Percy, you know you can't barter with Hades, right? He's deceitful, heartless, and greedy. I don't care if his kindly ones weren't as aggressive this time. This time? You mean, you've run into them before? Let's just say I've got no love for the Lord of the Dead. What would you do if it was your dad? That's easy. I'd leave him to rot. You're not serious. My dad's resented me since the day I was born, Percy. He never wanted a baby. When he got me, he asked Tiffina to take me back to Olympus and raise me there because he was too busy with his work. She wasn't happy about that. She told him heroes had to be raised by their mortal parent. But how? I mean, I'm guessing you weren't born in a hospital. I arrived on his doorstep in a golden cradle carried down from Olympus by Zephyr the West Wind. You'd think you remember that as some sort of miracle, right? Like... Maybe he takes some digital photos or something like that. He always talked about my arrival as if it were the most inconvenient thing that's ever happened to him. Then when I was five, he got married and completely forgot about Athena. He had a regular mortal wife and two regular mortal kids and tried to forget that I ever existed. My mom married a really awful guy. Grover said that she did it to protect me, to hide me in the scent of a normal family. Maybe that's what your dad was thinking. He doesn't care about me. His wife, um, my stepmom, treated me like a freak. She wouldn't let me play with her kids. My dad went along with it. Every time something bad happened, something dangerous, like... Like monsters, they would both look at me resentfully like, how dare you put our family at risk. Finally, I took the hint. I wasn't wanted. I ran away. How old were you? Same age as when I started camp. Seven. But you couldn't have gotten all the way to Half-Blood Hill by yourself. Not alone, no. Athena helped me, guided me toward camp. Soon I ended up making some unexpected friends who took care of me. For a short time, anyway. I want to do that. What? Build something like that. You ever see the Parthenon, Percy? Only in pictures. Someday? I'm going to. I'm going to build the greatest monument to the gods. Something that will last a thousand years. You? An architect? Yes, an architect. Athena expects her children to create things, not just tear them down. Unlike a certain god of earthquakes, I could mention. Sorry. Um, That was me. Can't we work together a little? I mean, didn't Athena and Poseidon cooperate a little bit ever? I guess the chariot? My mom created it, but Poseidon created horses out of the crest of the waves, so they had to work together to complete it. Then we can cooperate too, right? I suppose. Come on, sightseeing. The gateway arch. This may be my only chance to ride to the top. Are you coming or not? voice I keep hearing in my head. Not my head, it's my dreams. Jeez. Let's just say I've got no love for the Lord of the Dead. Are you done?